Hi, in this video I'm going to go over how you can run one animate on the free tier of Google Collab. I didn't think it was possible, but I shouldn't have underestimated the memory optimizations in OneGP because it works and I will run through how you can do it too. So go to the Square Zero Labs 1 to GP on Collab repo. I'll link that in the description and click on the Collab button and it will open up a notebook. Then click Run All and run anyway it will install everything for you and get one gp running so it's downloading the code it's installing the dependencies and on this collab instance i think the internet connection was not great because it took longer than usual to install the dependencies once they are installed it will launch one gp on profile 5 that is the most memory optimized so generations will be slow but hopefully they will work and then you will see in the log output eventually we'll have a link to just open up the Gradio UI once you see that link you can click on it and then we are in one GP we want to run one animate so we're going to go under one 2.2 and then animate will show up and the first thing we're going to do is go to the video mask creator to create a mask of our control video. So drag that in. And this should be someone moving or talking. Works best if it's one person and it's the dimensions of the video output that you want. Click load video and the video should show up on the right. If it doesn't, there's a problem. So let's look at the logs. And yes, we see that there's an error because we tried to generate the mask before the model weights for the mask creation were downloaded. So we can see there that it says that it tried to find that path and nothing was there. So let's see if we have those weights now. And if we go under checkpoints mask, we see we now have that file that it was looking for. So if we go and stop the process by just in that notebook cell hitting stop and then start again it will start up one gp again and we can hopefully do the mask because we now have the checkpoints when you see the link to the ui show up in the output click on that and then we go to video mask creator again and drag in our control video again you want this to be the dimensions for your output video so we're doing a 9 by 16 so our control video is 9 by 16 click load video and give it a second and yes we then get that ui we expect and we click on where we want the mask created so we click on the person in the video a couple more clicks to get her all outlined and that looks good so then click add mask and then click generate video matting and then this will take a bit to create the mask and then the output looks like this. We see our mask video. It looks good, so we export. And then now that we're back in one animate, we are selecting the fusion IX Bora, so hit apply after you've selected that. That'll allow us to generate in 10 steps. And then we're going to select animate person reference image using motion of targeted person. And then that will make our mask that we created show up right there. And then we drag in our reference image. Our reference image should also be the same dimensions as our control video and the output. So here it's 9 by 16. I have an image of a different woman in a same background in position as the control video and prompt just the woman is dancing 480p 9 by 16 really important you do consistent output control video and reference image all in the same dimensions for number of frames i had failures on collab if i tried to do too many so we're going to keep it at 81 and because we applied that laura it already set some good default configurations we have the 10 inference steps already set it already has the CFG at one and the shift scale at seven. So we don't have to touch anything and we can just hit generate. 
This will take quite a while. You can check out the logs while it is running and see the resource utilization to make sure everything is going okay. And then a pose map will be created before the diffusion step. So you can see that that output is there to make sure it's going well. It completed in about 44 minutes and there we see the result. And then I ran another one with Plumly the polar bear, so you can see a much different character can also be used in the scene. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.